What's up guys, AC Card Shark back again. As you can see, um, I am moved into my new place and I just wanted to make a quick video to, to just to check in with you guys and see how everything's going. Uh, this is going to be the future game room right here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much a mess right now, um, but I am going to get everything set up. There's, there's Rob sitting over there. My Rob the Robot, if you remember from about a year ago, I picked him up off of eBay. Um, but as you can see, I have uh, boxes full of games all over the place. Um, here's my, some of my NESs. Those are some drawers with some games in it. Over here you got some boxed Genesis games. I've got my Wii over here. I've got an empty shelf right here. I've got some more shelving over here to put in. Um, if you remember from my Epic unboxings from my friend, there's those boxes full of games over there. I've got a PS2 over here, a 64 in a box over there. Another box of games over there. Uh, Jace's Faces, if you remember my caricature, there it is right there. That's getting ready to hang up on the wall. Got some records, my record player over this way. And uh, some random uh, two desks and everything else. And uh, got my TV, old school TV, actually in the wall. Um, because obviously for the vintage games you want to have an old standard def TV because that's what they look best on. But if you can see, it's actually in the wall on its own shelf. And then the entertainment center I'm actually going to use for my systems. And uh, But that's a nice, it's a nice big TV. It's probably about a 32 to 37 inch uh, for the old school systems. But um, I just wanted to show you guys at least the beginnings of my game room. Uh, long way from being done. And I'll def definitely do a room tour once it's uh, all complete and everything else. But I'm going to flip over now and just show you some recent pickups that I picked up uh, over the last maybe two weeks or so. All right, guys, as you can see, this is the game room. This is uh, TVs back there I just showed you. Um, this is pretty much going to be the setting for my videos from now on. Um, obviously, once it's set up, I'll get a tripod. I have it kind of leaning on a box right now, so it's not exactly the safest way to put your camera. But, uh, yeah, here's the game room, guys. Uh, like I said, it'll be decorated and everything else. i got to make this pretty short and sweet because uh, my battery life is pretty low on the camera and I can't find my charger because it's packed away somewhere. So I'm going to make it real quick. I have uh, seven new Blu-rays I picked up. First one being Superman the movie. And uh, it was originally $24.99 at Best Buy. It was on sale for $9.99. I have never seen this before. And my girlfriend was like freaking out that I had never seen the original Superman with Christopher Reeves. So I was like, well, for $10, bucks, pick it up. Let's watch it. So she wanted to pick this up. And uh, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. You know, it's an old school classic. So Superman the movie. Uh, if anyone's seen it, let me know. Let me know what you thought about it. Uh, second one I picked up was uh, $14.99. I think it was on sale for $9.99 as well. That's Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind with Jim Carrey. One of my favorite movies, actually. Um, probably top 10, I would say. But uh, I've never owned this movie, DVD or otherwise. So I figured I would pick that one up. So that was a good addition. Uh, another one for $9.99 on Blu-ray, and that was Memento. Memento, I've always liked that movie as well. It kind of um, messes with your head a little bit. My battery's flashing, gotta hurry up here. Next one I picked up was originally $30 on sale for $20, and that is Despicable Me. So Despicable Me, I've always, I've always loved that movie and I've always wanted that. Next one was on sale for $13.99, and that was Coraline. Uh, again, Tim Burton, awesome, awesome film. Uh, another Tim Burton film, I've never seen it before, but I wanted it for my collection nonetheless, and that is the movie Nine. And that's Tim Burton, of course, directing that one as well with some, some other dude I've never heard of, but Tim Burton film nonetheless. It looks like a really great movie. And the last one I picked up, it was 17 bucks. It wasn't on sale, but I just really wanted it. And it's called When You're Strange, and that is a documentary about The Doors, Jim Morrison, The Doors. As you guys know, I'm a big Doors fan, and it's actually narrated by Johnny Depp, so uh, another one of my favorites. So that was awesome. And then going on to the game section of the video, um, I picked up six new games. Um, let's see, first one I picked up, uh, no surprise, and that was Bioshock 2. Bioshock 2 for the PS3. Um, I've already played and beaten this on the Xbox. I wanted to get it on the PS3 to play through and get trophies. We got it brand new for $14.99 at Target, so good deal on that one. Next one I picked up, um, this was all part of the, um, the Power Saver sale at GameStop. And the first one I picked up was a game called Cubed. That was $8.99, and the main reason I got this was for Res HD. Res HD was on this. I didn't have that from Xbox Live, so I picked up for $8.99, I picked up that game. Uh, let's see, I also picked up, I think it's called Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom. Majin? Majin? But I picked that one up. That was $14.99, brand new, still sealed. 
And uh, Pixel Sandwich was playing this game, so it was pretty good. I may not like it, he said, because it's kind of like that fantasy bullshit. And I really don't like that kind of stuff. But, you know what, for 15 bucks, I will give that a shot. And the other two I picked up, one was a game I've wanted for a long time in my collection. I've played and beat it on the 360, so of course you know I picked it up on the PS3. That was Enslaved. Um, guys, if you've never played this game, pick this game up. As you can see, $12.99, even normally it was like $17.99 pre-owned. It is worth every damn dollar you spend on this game. This game will blow your mind. The ending is amazing. Uh, no one should be without this game. And I, that is a huge, huge recommendation from me. Enslaved. In case you guys want to see a little closer, there you go. But Enslaved is absolutely amazing. I uh, picked up for $19.99, brand new. Game of the Year Edition, Batman Arkham Asylum for the PS3. Now, as you, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, and if I had more time with a battery, I would let you guys kind of guess. But as you can see, it's a greatest hit. It's a million seller, whatever you want to call it. But it's in a clear case. And I went to, I went to Best Buy, I'm sorry, I went to GameStop, and they had it, it was in the red case, and that would be the only red case in my PS3 collection. I hate that. So I went up to the guy and I was like, can you do me a favor? I was like, do you have an extra spare, like clear case that you make, maybe can switch this out with? He looked at me like I had three heads, um, but I told him, like, I'm really anal when it comes to my collection. I need to have it uniform and, and the same color. He's like, yeah, sure. So he took an Assassin's Creed 2 game and, and slipped uh, all the artwork and stuff out and then slipped the Batman uh, artwork in and put the red case on Assassin's Creed 2. So I thought that was kind of cool of him that he, that he hooked me up like that. And so I do have a clear case. The only difference is very, very slight, and it's the PS3 is a little maroon rather than black, and I'll show you real quick. Um, enslaved next to it, the black and then the maroon. It is a little bit different, but you're really not gonna be able to tell on the shelf from, from afar. It's gonna look pretty uniform on the shelf, so I was pretty stoked. Blast from the past. Um, as you can see, my, my battery had died out on my camera right as I was trying to finish my video. Like, I literally had like a minute left. So um, I'm on the old school webcam and microphone setup that I had like a year ago. Um, so I thought I'd throw it old school in my new place. So um, anyway, so um, well, I forget what I was saying. Oh, yeah, so the last game I picked up, um, I had pre-ordered this at Best Buy and picked it, picked it up this past Tuesday on release day. And that is Portal 2. Portal 2. Um, I was not a huge fan of Portal 1. And it's kind of funny because um, Pixel Sandwich had said he was getting it. And he's like, it's got co-op and it's going to be fun and everything else. And I was like, I wasn't a big fan of Portal 1 because it made my brain hurt. Like, it really like made my brain hurt and it made me angry. So um, he's like, dude, just pick it up. We'll play some co-op. It'll be fun, everything else. I love this game. I am addicted to this game. So um, we've been playing co-op the last two nights, and I can't, like, I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, when's he going to sign on? I have to play co-op again. Like, like we got stuck on a puzzle last, or a room last night, whatever you want to call it. And I'm like, I'm like, damn it, I was at work all day today. And I'm like, I'm like, how you, how, like, both of us were at work trying to figure out how we're going to solve this room. It's, it's so addictive. Um, I haven't played a lot of the single player yet because I never beat Portal 1 because I got, really frustrated with it and um and i just i put it on the shelf as we speak right now my xbox is on actually the xbox and next gen stuff is upstairs this is in the basement of the house upstairs is the uh, bigger screen tv the the um the flat screen tv with all the current gen the, the wii xbox 360 and the ps3 are all on that tv and i'm actually going to be upgrading that tv where i'm looking at getting like a 60 inch for the living room to really like pimp out the uh, the video games up there so um but anyway um, I have it right now on my Xbox Live menu, ready to uh, with the orange box in there. I'm going to bust out Portal. I'm going to try to beat it before he signs on tonight, so that way I can continue the storyline into Portal 2. So I'm kind of holding off on single player, but the co-op is amazing in this game. Um, definite game of the year candidate so far. I haven't gotten that far into it, but just the, the way the puzzles are set up and the amount of thought and effort that went into this game is just beyond words. So um, if you guys have a chance to pick this up, I would definitely recommend this one as well. Uh, and since I'm not on a battery restriction, I'm going to run through real quick what I picked up again. Uh, just because I, I kind of feel like I, I kind of rushed it earlier, and I, I apologize for trying to rush it, but I was trying to get this video done before I ran out of juice on the battery, and I really have no idea where my charger is. So anyway, so Bioshock 2, PS3. I have Bioshock 1 and 2 now on the PS3. Uh, brand new, sealed, still have it sealed. Uh, 15 bucks. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, you already heard the story about the case, but that is the Game of the Year edition for the PS3. That was 20 bucks instead of 30. Enslaved 
like one of my this would have been in my game of the year running last year had I had had I played it prior to making those videos and everything else but enslaved for the PS3 Ma Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom brand new sealed it was I believe 14.99 it doesn't say, but uh, it looks kind of fun. I don't know. I'll give it a shot though. Again, collection builder and cubed for the Xbox 360, 899. That I believe has Res HD, Luminous Live, and E4 on it. So all three are, are download downloadable titles. But it's kind of nice to have the actual disc for my shelf and everything else. But uh, like I said, Res HD was the reason. Of course, I got Portal 2. Those are the video game pickups, and then the Blu-rays once again. When you're strange, it's a uh, documentary about the Doors. And it's narrated by Johnny Depp. Absolutely amazing. I saw it on TV one time, and it's on D on Blue right now, so I picked it up. The film Nine, and that's a uh, Tim Burton film, animated, awesome. The film Coraline, which looks amazing in Blu-ray. That's the first one I actually, um, out of all these, that's the first one I actually saw on Blu-ray. We, we watched it the night we got it. So uh, great, great movie. Despicable Me, as you can as you can tell, I'm into the CGI movies, the uh, you know the animated films. So uh, Despicable Me, absolutely hilarious film. Memento for 9.99, just an amazing, you know, like a, a mind fuck of a movie. Uh, Eternal Sunshine, The Spotless Mind, another mind fuck of a movie. As you can tell, I like those too. And Superman the movie back from 19 whatever year that was 78, I believe it says. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm sure somebody knows out there, somebody out there knows better than I would for that. Anyway, guys, so hope you enjoyed the little tour. I know it's like really quick and it looks like a mess in here. But like I said, it's going to be decked out, and we're, you know, hopefully I can get Kung Fu Master down here. It's been a little bit of a trouble trying to get it down the stairs, but hopefully I can get that down here, and uh, get the the artwork on the walls, get the shelves in place, um, and get this get this place hopping with some video games. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to finally getting a room tour together for you guys. I finally have I finally have all my video games in one place. No storage. No two locations. Everything is here, so like I'm really stoked to get everything set up. It's going to be really awesome. But uh, until next time, guys, from the new place, this is AC Card Shark. Take care, guys.